Good evening, everyone, and welcome to God A Field here in Middletown, Rhode Island, where the South Virginia University Seahawks are set to take on the Hawks of Roger Williams University in a big Commonwealth Coast Conference matchup. Hello again and welcome. I'm Andrew Pizzelli bringing you the call here tonight, the Cahog Cup between the Seahawks and the Hawks. Last year in this matchup, it was Sal Regina winning here at Gaudet, 19 to 17, the final and the most recent matchup between the Seahawks and Hawks. The Seahawks, despite only winning five faceoffs in that game, won the game. Roger Williams, though, does lead 22 to three all time in the series between these two teams and a spirited rivalry between these two Rhode Island clubs. The Hawks, 3-6 and six on the year, 1-0 and in the CCC, thanks to a 14-4 victory this past Saturday over Gordon. Sal Regina, meanwhile, 3-4 and four on the year, 1-0 and in the CCC, and they had a thrilling victory here on Saturday, 10-9, the victory versus Curry. In overtime, Brendan Tracy was the hero for Sal Regina in that game, scoring less than a minute into the extra frame. Ryan Chambers made 15 saves in that game as well. And it was a thrilling victory here at Gaudet. And Chambers will once again be between the pipes for the Seahawks. He is 3-4 in the year, matching the team's record, the senior from Wakefield, Mass. Max Kimmel, the freshman from Milford, Connecticut, will be between the pipes. He made 12 saves on Saturday for the Hawks. On the year, he is 1-2 overall with a 49.5 save percentage. Teams greeting each other here at midfield. And we should be ready to go soon. As I said, this is the 26th all-time meeting between the Seahawks and the Hawks. The Seahawks got the better of the matchup. The yearly Cahog Cup between these two Rhode Island teams. And the Cup is here at the scorer's table. The Seahawks are hoping that it will stay in Newport for another season. And we're set to go. Justin Haverly is going to dig in here for the Seahawks. He wedges it free. Players chase it ahead. And the Seahawks will control the draw. They'll have it in the attacking end. Max Beauchamp looks back to the bench. And we'll get the play call. Into the corner left side to Pat Leary. Now Tracy out at midfield, sails it across to Beauchamp. Beauchamp down the right-hand side, drops it in behind the net. Stephen McAllister from behind the cage out to the left side now. Looking to spin back to the inside, shut off on that drive. He's just going to wind up. Fire, save made by Kimmel. Shot to flex out of play. Seahawks will keep it. Pat Leary will bring it in from the end line. Lobs it out to Beauchamp. Beauchamp, stutter step, moving to his right, trying to feather it in for Liam Cooney. And it's going to deflect off of Cooney, out of play. Seahawks will turn it over. Ball turned over, and it scoops right back into the cross of Kimmel. And then he looks defeated out of play. What's the whistle here? And it's going to be Hawks' ball. Out to midfield. Matt Halpin. Able to navigate midfield and carry into the attacking end here for Roger Williams. They led 4-0 in their game against Gordon on Saturday. 
Played even in the second quarter with the Scots and then 8-2 to two in the second half to pull away for the win. This shot thrown on the goal, skip wide. Jack Kester with the rip. Hawks will keep it. Kester, freshman from Londonderry, New Hampshire. Moves it out to midfield to Matt Halpin. Halpin around the screen. Out high, plays it right side. Kester. 20 yards away. Turning with the shot. Save made by Chambers. Gavin Johnson will bring it ahead on the clear here for Salve. Johnson fakes the pass, drops it inside. McAllister turns, he scores! Johnson feeds McAllister. 12-23 to go in the first. Seahawks take the lead. Give you a look at the replay here. The D-man, Johnson, bringing it ahead. Right here, kind of faked the shot, then dropped it to McAllister. Took some contact as well. McAllister buries it. And it's 1-0 Salve Regina. Tenth goal of the year for McAllister. Scramble here for the draw. And Haverly wins it away from Darian Wolf. <laughs> Haverly has his pass deflected. Ricochet's near side. Getting in the way of that one was Noah Ravis. Seahawks turn it over and a penalty coming here against Salve. Delayed penalty. 11.50 to go right now in the first quarter. But man up coming for the Hawks, who have the best man up percentage in the CCC coming into tonight. Snagged in deep behind the cage. Seahawks trying to organize the defense here. Delayed penalty coming. Stumbling in front. Overhanded shot is denied by Chambers. That was Kester going to the goal. So a technical on a hold called here against Justin Haverly with 11.22 to go in the first quarter. So he will sit for 30 seconds. Man up here for the Hawks. Fifty-one point six percent on the man up it is Roger Williams coming into tonight. Here's Kester snacks it up high, dances away from Van Winkle. Move left side, held by Halpin. Kester once again, Halpin at the point left side, trying to drop it inside, turning with the shot score. Will Railton, and he ties the game on the man up with ten fifty-seven to go. And actually, that's Jared Greer, the graduate student from Quincy, Mass., who ties the game. On the man up. 10.47 to go here in the first. 20th goal of the year for Greer, who leads the team in points and now has tied Tim Mullane for the goal lead, each with 20. Tim Mullane now trying to force his way inside. Floats it back for the shot. Save made by Chambers. Halpin. Right out in front. Denied by Ryan Chambers. Trying to thread the needle in front for another shot. Save made by Chambers. Some point blank looks for the Hawks, but Ryan Chambers 
Standing tall between the pipes. Ball deflected out to midfield, turned over. Seahawks give it right back to Roger Williams. Ten minutes to go here in the first quarter. Kessler tried to get the shot away. Dropped it out of his cross before he could make his move. This one deflects away from Seamus McCusker. And Kester able to race back and retrieve it. Kester, right side. Tim Mullane, left side, 23 seconds on the shot clock here for the Hawks. Mullane around the screen, picked up by Tallini defensively. Side of the cage, right side, trying to muscle his way in front, dances back behind the net now. Sails it out to the wing, right side, stutter step for the shot! Save made by Chambers. Rebound scooped up near side by the Seahawks. And McCusker grabbed the ground ball and races ahead into the attacking end. Tracy, left side for the shot, score! Stephen McAllister again. 8.43 to go in the first. Seahawks jump back out in front. Give you a look at the replay. McCusker here with the clear. Gets it ahead to Tracy. And just sensing that open space. Got it to McAllister. Ready to receive and shoot. 2-1 to one with 8.43 to go. Two goals for Stephen McAllister. Haverly won the draw cleanly. Across to the left side. Underhand shot score! Pat Leary. Seahawks score two in five seconds. And it's 3-1. to one. And this is just textbook. Haverly wins this draw cleanly. Right to himself. And found the Seahawks all-time leading scorer. And he rips it from deep and buries it. 16th goal of the year for Leary. Scramble on the draw here. Ball still up for grabs. 10-person scrum out at midfield. Ball is still loose. And eventually, it's corralled by the Hawks. And carried into the attacking end. Stumbling is Brian Cumming. And then he dropped the ball. And it's going to roll out of play on the far side. And it will belong to Roger Williams as Brendan Laundry, the last to touch it. 3-1 to one with 8.03 to go. Right to the front with the shot. Score! The quick restart there for the Hawks. They capitalize. Noah Ravis, the junior from Baldwinsville, New York, makes it 3-2. to two. With eight minutes even to go in the first quarter. Frantic pace to this first quarter. Haverly knocks it free and scoops it on the faceoff win. Falling down, he gets it away to midfield. Here comes Brett Souza into the attacking end. He gives it up to Pat Leary. He'll hold wide on the left side. Here's Stephen McAllister. Two goals already for McAllister. Seahawks lead by one. Here's Padrick Barry. Sprints down the left side. Plays it into McAllister. Looking to zip it up top to the point. That ball deflected. Still up for grabs. Floated towards the goal and it'll fly into the cross of Max Kimmel. And then he rolls it out to midfield on a deflection. And it's scooped up by the Hawks. 
looking to navigate the near sideline and doing so is Pat Barboza. And then his pass is Aaron and skips out of play. So Barboza throws it away. Here's Van Winkle to the attacking end for Salve with the one goal lead. Brendan Laundry. Seahawks leading scorer in goals and points. 18 goals, nine assists coming into tonight. Liam Cooney from behind the net. Wide left side on the wing. Here's Tracy. Sprints up the left side, trying to work his way into the middle. That ball knocked loose, and it flies into the cross of Kimmel. He lobs it out to the near side. Hawks will look to clear. Bounce back and stolen. McAllister scores! Hat-trick goal for Steven McAllister. That one gift-wrapped from Tyler Zanini. Right time, right place. The Hawks, I think, just trying to play it back, maybe. Demon here on the near side. He just wanted to lob it back. That one just bounced right to McAllister. Hat trick goal for McAllister. 6.03 to go in the first. Time out. Roger Williams will take it as well. Welcome back to Gaudet Field. Six minutes to go in the first quarter. Sal Regina leading 4-2. to two. Three goals already for Stephen McAllister. This pass from Naglieri thrown away. Picked off now up of the field here for the Hawks. Delaying, faking, shooting, save made by Chambers. And a penalty coming as well here against Roger Williams. Hawks tried to get up ahead of the field. Chambers has made some monster saves here in this first quarter on short shots that were right on the doorstep. Delayed penalty. Padrig Berry will hold in the near side corner right side. Patting it with 45 seconds to go on the shot clock here. Barry sprints left side, fakes the interior pass. His shot out to the left side. Leary's shot deflects high, up and out of play. And now we can address the penalty. This will be man up here for the Seahawks. So they're going to lock in for one minute Trevor Brooks on a body check. So a minute locked in of man up here for Salve with 4.57 to go. Leading 4-2. to two. Clock rolling. Cooney, behind the net, McAllister, who's got three goals already. Pat Leary, the other scorer here for the Seahawks, who lead 4-2. to two. Man up, Cooney, behind for McAllister. 
From the corner left side, Leary delays. Out high, Bochamp. Right side, Cooney. Shoulder fake now plays it back in behind the net. McAllister to Tracy. Cooney sails it out high. 23 seconds on the shot clock here for the Seahawks. Right side, Tracy. Seahawks working to try and find that perfect shot. Trying to feed it inside. Looking for laundry. It's deflected. Out near midfield can be scooped by Cooney. Six seconds left of the man up. Left side, McAllister. Out high, two seconds on the shot clock. Rip left side, score! What is going to be the call at the shot clock buzzer? Will it count? They're going to say no. That was very close. Write that one down with 3.50 to go in the first quarter. Hawks look to throw it back out towards midfield at the flex. Ball's loose here. Tracy will easily scoop it near midfield. Seahawks back on the attack. Three twelve to go. This one out high for the shot. Save made. Kimmel makes another. And the outlet deflects Snaglieri a chance to scoop it, and he does. Hawks give it right back. Pat Leary, right time, right place. Scoops it in the attacking end. We're going to get a timeout. Called here by the Seahawks. We'll give you a look at the replay. We want to see if that shot at the buzzer there. The official said no goal. And right there with one second. Now it has to cross. And it does look like it hits zero before the twine moves. So by a fraction of a second. That is the right call. So, 2.44 to go here in the first time out on the field. We'll take it as well. You're watching Commonwealth Coast Conference action on the Salve Athletics Network. We'll be back. Welcome back to the field. Out of the timeout, 2.44 to go in the first quarter. Seahawks with the 4-2 to two lead and possession. Andrew Pizzelli here bringing you the call. The Cawhog Cup here between Sal Regina and Roger Williams. Brendan Tracy. Make this Ryan Carlo up the left side. Diagonal pass to Souza. Down the wing right side. Turns and spins it back out to Ryan Iritano. Trying to fend off a defender to his left. He dances out near midfield. Gives it back to Carlo. Carlo looking inside. Spins it back to Mason Barbone. 26 seconds on the shot clock here for Salve. Barbone will back it out wide. Starts his drive. Up the left-hand side. Feels contact, stripped of the ball, loose on the ground and scooped up by the Hawks. Ryan Phillips navigates midfield into the attacking end, chased by Saunders. Into the corner left side, held by Noah Ravis. Out to Jack Kester. Kester. 
Ryan Phillips. Picked up by Carlo. With 38 seconds on the shot clock here for Roger Williams. As we approach the final minute of the first quarter. Kester. 30 yards away, starts his drive, threads the needle, left side for the shot. I think Chambers got a piece of that to deflect it out. Matt Halpin from the left side. I'm going to say that that wasn't touched by Chambers, so no reset of the shot clock. Now down to 12 seconds here for Roger Williams. With the angle right side, the bouncing so shot, save made by Chambers. That was Ryan Phillips again, trying to bounce it on the goal. This one's going to deflect out on the near side, but Liam Cooney races to get it. The Hawks kind of let up, thinking it was going to go out. Cooney kept hustling for it and wins it for the Seahawks. Seven seconds to go. Laundry with the drive that goes high and wide. Out of play. Four seconds left in the quarter. Leary will retrieve from the end line. Brings it in with three. Leary trying to move it in front for the shot that's blocked, stolen by Kimmel, and that'll do it. For the first quarter, Seahawks will lead 4-2. to two. We'll take a quick break and be back with the call of the second quarter as the teams change ends. You're watching Commonwealth Coast Conference action on the Salve Athletics Network. We'll be back. Welcome back to Gaudet Field, start of the second quarter. Justin Haverly and Darian Wolf in on the draw, and Haverly's going to be called for the violation here, so the Hawks will have possession. Seahawks leading 4-2, to two, though. Three goals in that first quarter for Stephen McAllister. One goal from Pat Leary. Hawks scored on the man up as well. They're one for one. Gavin Johnson comes away with the ground ball. Off the Hawks' turnover. Johnson has an assist so far here in the first half as well. Here's McAllister on the near side. Gives it to Pat Leary, now Brendan Laundry. Seahawks set up shop. Bochamp will start from midfield and carry it wide left side. Bochamp. Stops left side, surveys, lobs it right side for the shot. That one's blocked. Liam Cooney denied by Tyler Zanini. Threaded out in front for the shot. That is blocked. Saved by Kimmel. Rebound collected by the Hawks. And they'll be able to clear it to the attacking end. Hawks with possession, trailing by two. Kester with some space out high, throws it on the goal, save made by Chambers, rebound scooped and fired high and wide. That was Greer who dug that out in front and lifted it high and wide. Let's 
Ball up for grabs behind the net. Still loose. Mazzi able to wedge it free and comes away with it. Gets it to Tolini. Hawks turn it over in deep. Trying to get it across. Leary looking to scoop it in the slot. Amongst four Hawks, the ball now rolls to the near side. McAllister floats it in the air, bounces to Carlo. Player still scrumming for it. In close near the Hawks net. McAllister eventually able to grab the wet bar of soap. And he'll dance into the corner left side. Laundry with 32 seconds to shoot here. Looking to float it right side. Gathered by Leary. The shot denied by Kimmel. And he outlets it to Kester. Chased by Patrick Berry, who takes a couple of swipes at the cross. Big time rip from the point. Save made by Chambers. Sean Tattlesley with the drive. McAllister back the other way. Feathers it across. Spinning is Liam Cooney. And he'll back it out on Zanini. Now Bochamp. 30 yards from the goal. At the point left side. Starts his drive. Bochamp out high. Floats it inside. Turning. Looking for the shot. McAllister save made by Kimmel. Zanini comes up with the rebound. Phillips. We'll wait for reinforcements here for the Hawks. Halpin now. 11.05 to go in the second quarter. 4-2. to two. Seahawks still with the lead. Halpin. Picked up by John Saunders. Kester. Dances around two men. Fought and knocked down to the ground. Penalties coming here. Kester a little off balance. But trying to squib through three Seahawks. He draws the penalty. So a 30-second technical here to Brett Souza on a push with 10.44 to go in the second. Man up here. For Roger Williams. One for one with the advantage. Ravis, right side to Greer. Mullane in deep, back to Greer on the wing right side. Out high Ravis again. Ravis from the point right side, feeds Greer. Mullane behind the cage, picked up by Tallini. Hawks move it out onto the wing. Five seconds here left on the man up. The rip from the left side. Save made by Chambers. Rebound hops out of his cross and it will come to Naglieri. Seahawks get the stop on the man up. McCusker. Carries to the attacking end. Plays it in deep to Pat Leary. On the roll, Van Winkle to the net. Save made by Kimmel. Rebound, chance, score! Kimmel made the save. It popped into the air. Liam Cooney snagged it and buried it. And we'll give you another look at that one. All eyes on Stephen McAllister. Here's Van Winkle just muscled his way down the left side. Kimmel made the save right off the shaft of his stick. Into the cross of Cooney. 5-2 to two with 9.52 to go in the second. 14th goal of the year for Liam Cooney. Seahawks with their largest lead. And Haverly comes away with the draw cleanly.
Tracy now on the far side. Gives it up to Cooney. Seahawks will make some subs here. Cam Stein sprints into the attacking end, trying to duck the shoulder left side into contact. Stein will back it out and feed it to the point to Iritano. Right side snagged by Tracy. Down the right side, his shot, sidearm, off to the side of the goal, and Kimmel off the deflection will pounce on it. With nine minutes to go in the second. Brian Gazzard. Right side. Stiegstra. Behind the cage. Around to the left side now to Halpin. Down the right side. Plays it too high behind the cage. They'll say deflected by the Seahawks. Stiegstra carries out to the point, gives it up to Mullane. Little low shot save made by Chambers. Actually, that was Brian Gazzard from the point with that chance. Under eight minutes to go in the first half. Seahawks clear it back the other way. Cooney will back it out and sling it across to Max Bochamp. Bochamp up the right-hand side, rips it on the goal. That will skip wide. Bochamp coming into tonight fourth in the CCC in assists. He's done a lot of damage from the point. Finding the open man, here's Padrick Barry. Hawks flash a double team for a moment. He lofts it near side. Here's Bochamp. Straight away, 20 yards away. Bounces it across to Laundry now. On the wing left side. Laundry tees up the drive. That one's blocked. And then Laundry just collides with a Hawks defenseman. Kimmel races out to get it and then able to thread the needle. Hawks will clear it back the other way. Nearly a turnover, but Sean Titlesley is able to snag it and bring it back the other way. Here's Ryan Phillips. Nearly lost it. Picked up instead by Halpin. 6.34 to go in the second. Seahawks leading 5-2. to two. Halpin from midfield. Sprints left side, throws it on the cage. Chambers another save. Gets it away to Naglieri. Bounced out towards McCuster, off his cross. Taken back by Tyler Zanini. Six minutes to go. Kester, right side, his shot, save, Chambers, rebound, falls out of his stick, but is picked up near side by Rocco Mazzi. Naglieri now waiting at midfield, gives it to Gavin Johnson, and now Van Winkle will walk it ahead. Seahawks leading 5-2 to two with 5.32 to go in the first half. Here's Ryan Iritano now. Iritano around the Cooney screen. And behind the cage now, looking to drop it off from McAllister. They'll say deflected by Roger Williams. And they're going to give it back to the Hawks. That ball looked like it was tipped. Seahawks fans not happy about that one. I mean, it looked like the officials were crossed up too. They had them pointing two different ways. But the near side official pointed the way of the Hawks, and that is what the call ended up being. Pass 
back. Coney not happy about that call, asked the official. And he said that he checked with his partner, and that was the best he could do. Too high for Greer. That one will skip out of play. And the home crowd will let the officials have it. Here's Brendan Tracy now as the Seahawks look to clear. He will sprint over midfield and trot to the attacking end. Tracy wide right side on the wing. Out to Liam Cooney. 30 yards away from the goal. Straight away at midfield now. Brendan Laundry waits for the play from the sideline. In the midst of some changes now, Patrick Barry will come on to the attacking end for the Seahawks with 45 seconds to go on the shot clock here. 3.50 on the game clock in the first half. Beauchamp in the corner left side off to the side of the cage. Now sprints middle into contact, and he lost the ball. Knocked free and picked up by the Hawks. Grabbing it was Ryan Lawrence. He gets it to Kimmel. Now out to midfield. Can be brought ahead. Intravaya will clear it for Roger Williams. Three twelve to go in the first half. Seahawks leading five to two. Kester. That pass, Noli nearly stolen by Laundry. Ball stripped, just dropping the cross cleanly. Van Winkle comes away with it, ripping it away from Noah Ravis. Here's Laundry down the middle with the shot score. Brendan Laundry. 2.35 to go, and it's 6-2. to two. Seahawks expand their largest lead. Van Winkle just a little dish in laundry. Hawks defense, I don't know if they weren't expecting kind of the straight drive there from laundry. 2.35 to go in the second. Seahawks lead 6-2. 19th goal of the year for Brendan Laundry, And the Seahawks will have possession after a face-off violation from Darian Wolf. Brendan Tracy, who was the hero for Salve here on Saturday, versus Curry. Scored in overtime to give the Seahawks the 10-9 victory in that game. Cooney has it stripped in the corner right side. Seahawks will turn it over. Hawks now look to clear. As we tick under two minutes to go in the first half. Crossfield pass snagged up high by Jake Fisora. Phillips looking to sprint right to the goal. Phillips in front with the shot score. Phillips just zigged and zagged his way. Through the attacking zone, big goal for the Hawks with 1.42 to go in the first half. We'll give you a look at the replay here. And Phillips just kept on going and just got right through two Seahawks there on his way to the net. 1.42 to go, 6-3. to three. Scramble on the draw, and coming away with it is Wolf. And he dishes it back to midfield to Ryan Lawrence. Hawks will hold it. 124 on the game clock, 64 on the shot clock. Hawks will have to shoot here before the end of the half. See how much time they decide to milk down. Kester. Into the corner. Tim Mullane picked up by Tallini. 
45 on the shot clock as Mullane circles all the way out to the left wing side now. Looking inside, Mullane off another screen. Look to shoot it. Has it stripped from behind by Johnson, and it's scooped up by Andrew Senecal. Actually, make that Saunders. Seahawks back to the attacking end. 41 seconds to go in the half. And Van Winkle will back it out. Padrick Berry looks up and sees 27 seconds on the shot clock. Excuse me, on the game clock. Winding things down here in the first half. Berry. Stutter step to his left, looking for the angle, trying to move it left side for Leary. That's deflected and stolen by the Hawks. Trying to counter quickly here with 14 seconds. Loose ball at midfield is scooped up by Roger Williams. They'll bring it into the attacking end. A whistle on the shot. I think we're going to get a timeout called here by the Hawks. We will. They'll talk it over with seven seconds to go in the first half, trying to sneak one in here before the buzzer. We will take a quick break and be back with the final seconds of the first half. Welcome back to the field. Out of the timeout, 6-3, to three, Sal Regina with the lead. They put two more seconds back on the game clock, so nine seconds remain here in the half. Roger Williams trying to score back-to-back -back goals here to close out the first half and get within two. Let's see what co-associate head coaches Justin McKenna and Philip Cassius have drawn up. And some debate here about where play should start from. And they're going to give it near side. Phillips will have it with nine seconds. And Phillips is just going to sprint in front for the shot. Save made by Chambers. Tolini just flings it out to midfield. And that'll do it for the first half. So the Seahawks defense digs in and gets a big stop there at the close. Seahawks will lead 6-3 to three at halftime. A hat trick in the first half for Stephen McCaster and some big saves from Ryan Chambers. We will take a break while the teams head off the field. You're watching Commonwealth Coast Conference men's lacrosse action on the Salve Athletics Network. We will be back.
Welcome back to Gaudet Field. Start of the third quarter here between Salva Regina and Roger Williams. The Cawhawk Cup between the Seahawks and the Hawks. Salva Regina leading 6-3 as we start the third quarter. Three goals in the first half for Stephen McAllister. Ryan Chambers made 15 saves on Saturday against Curry. Made 15 saves in the first half here tonight for Salva Regina. Sprinting down the middle of the shot. Chambers, another save. That was Phillips, and they gobble it up and score. Couldn't corral the loose ball. Two-goal game with 14-10 to go. We'll give you a second look. So here's the initial shot. That ball just loose a big scrum. Finally came free. And just out of the fray, Matt Halpin, the one to fire it home. Six to four, 14 10 to go. Haverly cleanly off the draw. Left side. Leary underhand shot score. Seahawks answer right back. Six seconds later. And that's twice that the Seahawks have done this. Haverly, the clean win. Again, finding Pat Leary. That goal, that is a mirror image of the same type of goal from the first half. Two goals now for Leary, the Seahawks' all-time leading goal scorer. Seahawks will come up with another draw. 163rd career goal for Pat Leary. Here's Laundry now. Seahawks back up by three. Bochamp. We'll back it out near midfield. Get it along for Brett Souza. Bochamp, left side, now Souza once again. Souza sprints up the right side. Off angle trying to get it out in front for Laundry. deflected onto the wing. Last touch by who? They say Roger Williams. Leary walks it in from the far sideline. 30 seconds on the shot clock here for Salve. McAllister left side. Swings it around to Laundry. Laundry. Tees up the big drive. That skips wide. Cooney will bring it in from the corner right side. Souza with 12 seconds on the shot clock here for Salva. Here's Laundry from midfield. Make this Bochamp up the right-hand side, trying to slide his way in front. He skips it home. Max Bochamp finding the angle. Seahawks reestablish a four-goal lead, matching their largest with 12.45 to go in the third. Here's a second look at that one. Just able to get around the defenseman there. Tisley. And just bounced it. Off the draw, Haverly. Able to track it down. Seahawks right back on the attack. Seahawks have won 10 of 14 faceoffs. Leary, the no look, trying to get it in front for McAllister. Scramble in the corner. Barry trying to hassle Kimmel. Able to strip it. Barry with the net empty. Had to bobble the ball in the near side. Seahawks will have possession. Dangerous situation there almost for the Hawks with Kimmel way out of his net, turning it over behind the cage. Here's Tracy. Sees a double team. Moves it across to Iritano from the point left side. 
Iritano. He throws it on the goal. Save made by Kimmel. Ground ball up for grabs. And they're going to give possession here. Back to the Seahawks. Here's Barry from midfield. Sprints up the right-hand side. Carries it wide. Along for Iritano now. He tries to turn the corner. Left side. Leary, he scores! Iritano to Leary. Hat trick goal. 11-24 to go in the third. Seahawks lead by five. This is Iritano just about ready to turn the corner. And the Hawks defense, as soon as he felt them slide, gave it up to Pat Leary. Hawks will come up with the draw. 11-12 to go in the third. Pass too high. That's going to sail out of play. Roger Williams turns it over. Brian coming with the errant pass. Laundry will have it here along the near side for the Seahawks. Here's Van Winkle now. Souza. On the wing right side. Souza. Quick shot from Cooney. Sneaks it in. 10 to 4 with 10.25 to go. Some tick toe, tack toe passing from the Seahawks. Souza got it out quickly. Leary just one touched it. Cooney falling down. He buries it. Seahawks with their largest lead expanded now to six. And off the draw, the Hawks win it. Wolf cleanly will bring it to the attacking end. Roger Williams now looking for a response. They had gotten within two. And a Seahawks player is shaken up. At midfield, that's Saunders, who got twisted up on the turf, and he's able to trot off now under his own power. I think that might be a cramp. Clock stops for a moment with 10.04 to go in the third, as Saunders is checked out by Seahawks athletic trainer Amanda Karsten. Roger Williams with possession. Down now by six. Phillips. Left side just fires it wide. Not a play. Roger Williams will keep it. Hawks just hoping for a bounce here. Here's Greer. He just turns and fires. That one skips wide. Tim Mullane will bring it in from the corner left side in the attacking end. Naglieri with them there, stride for stride. Seahawks shut off his drive. Mullane now will start the drive again, trying to drop it inside. Turning with the shot, score! Mullane finding Kester, who spun and shot that one home. Big goal there. For Roger Williams. Makes it a five goal game with 9-11 to go. And you can see here he just 
Got it to Kastar, who had to reach behind. He turned completely around. And then fired it home. 9-11 to go in the third. 10-5. Seahawks still with the lead. Ball poked free. Seahawks will grab it, though. Souza comes up with the ground ball. Barry. Looks for the signal. Gets it along for Carlo. Cooney in deep to McAllister. Souza again from midfield. Souza winds, fires. That one sails high. Seahawks keep it. Eight and a half to go in the third. Padraig Barry once again from midfield. Opposite side of the screen from Souza. He'll race in now deep behind the cage with 25 seconds on the shot clock here. Barry surveying. Stutter step to his left. Out onto the wing right side. 15 seconds for the Seahawks to shoot. 10 seconds. Carlo down the right-hand side. Lost the ball. Penalty coming, though, against Roger Williams. And then another penalty. Two penalty flags thrown by the same official. And let's see what the call is here with 7.52 to go. So a trip for one minute to Trevor Brooks. And then a technical called against Kester. So two man up. Actually, they're going to call both, both against Brooks. So a minute and a half of man up. Turned right side, Cooney the drive, score! The cross field pass. Cooney gathered it. No hesitation. And right here, the pass from the wing. That one got all the way across and just right side going short side. Liam Cooney scores on the man up to make it 11-5 to with 7.20 to go in the third. Seahawks reestablish the six-goal lead. Souza behind the cage. Shut off on the drive. Cooney in the high slot has it poked free. Hawks with it, off and running now, back to the attacking end. Given up to Phillips. Phillips down the left hand side. Actually, that was Tisley who cleared it for Roger Williams. Tim Mullane out at midfield. A little delay now around Tolini. He's going to tee up the big drive. That goes wide. Off the end line. 
Turning out in front, falling down. That shot may have gone off the iron. That was Halpin. Gavin Johnson brings it back the other way, takes a big hit. And penalty flags coming from every official as the ball pops high in the air. Touched up by the Hawks. And we'll address the penalty here with 5.28 to go in the third. And the officials will all converge here to conference quickly. Taking the knee is Matt Halpin. 30-second technical on the push. With 5.28 to go. Man up once again. Here for Salve. Leading 11 to 5 with 5.28 to go in the third. Man up here for the Seahawks. Last time it was Liam Cooney. And across his own pass. Bochamp. Right side Cooney, he sends it across to the left side now. Faking the shot, driving in, trying to bounce it on the cage. They score! On the man up once again, I think that's Brendan Tracy. 12-5 with 5.07 to play. Seahawks strike again on the man up. Ball near side. Souza is the last to touch it. It goes out of play. Hawks will get it off the draw. Wow. Something must have been said by a Roger Williams player. The official calls a conduct foul and just turns it over. Seahawks with it, leading by seven. 4.40 to go in the third. Well, this was the intensity we expected here in this game. In-state rivalry. Campus for Roger Williams. Less than 12 miles from this field. Seahawks trying to win back-to-back -back matchups against Roger Williams. That ball saved by Kimmel on the shot from McAllister. Hawks with their largest deficit, though, and four minutes to go in the third. Lawrence. Picked up by Naglieri to the far side. Lawrence trapped at midfield, but able to get it away to Brian Cumming. He gets it near side now to Tilsley. Discarding a man and firing it was Phillips. Seahawks get it back on the shot that went wide. Naglieri looking near side. Skies it across the field for Gavin Johnson. He brings it to the attacking end. Out high to McCusker. Into contact. And he'll cradle it out wide. And sensing that that possession might be teetering a bit, head coach Pat Cooney. We'll call for time. We'll take it as well. 3.09 to go in the third. Seahawks with possession and the lead. We'll be back.
Welcome back to the field. Out of the timeout, the Seahawks turn it over. Right back the other way comes Ravis for Roger Williams. And then he dropped the ball. Ball up for grabs out near the 40-yard line. Hawks will corral it, though, keeping it alive. As Intravaya. Halpin. Delays right side. Trying to sneak it out in front. Turning as Greer denied by Chambers. Ball to flex out on the far side. Hawks will keep it. And Gavin Johnson nearly able to keep it in the field of play. Two twenty-three to go in the third. Shot score! Coming from the far side. Forcing his way inside. Ryan Phillips gets it to go. 2.15 to go in the third. And it's 12-6. to six. Every time the Hawks have gone on a little run, the Seahawks have answered and then pushed the lead. Haverly had it for a moment and then lost it. Wolf will come away with it. Haverly takes a few swipes and can't rip it away from Wolf. Angle left side. The shot is blocked. Barboza looked to have an angle for a moment, but Naglieri able to poke it at the last second. Phillips. Halpin now. In the corner. Cradling with 30 seconds. Trying to work on Souza. Turn. Sidearm shot goes wide. Racing out there, Gavin Johnson. And he is rewarded for the hustle. Wins that ball for the Seahawks. With 1.15 to go in the third. Here's Brendan Laundry. Bochamp walks it to the attacking end. Final minute. And Laundry will just, excuse me, make this Bochamp. And no rush here on the near side. Holding now in the corner with 36 seconds. The Hawks are going to bleed this all the way down. Bochamp signals to send everyone away. So he slowly walks his way in deep behind the cage. Bochamp now. Out left side, all the way out high. McAllister dropped for laundry. Thought about the shot, feeds it left side. Cooney back to the cup. McAllister, he scores! with 12 seconds to go in the third quarter. Right here, Laundry, Cooney, McAllister on the cut. And that one quickly to the back of the net. 13 to six. Again, the Seahawks. Regain their largest lead. Haverly had it for a moment. Naglieri looks to scoop it forward. Four seconds to go. Ball will head out of play, but that will do it. One second left. Hawks will touch it in, but nothing to do with it. And that'll do it. For the third quarter, the Seahawks will take their largest lead to the fourth. 13-6. to six. We make the turn for home here in the Cawhaw Cup from Gaudé Field. Salve 13, Roger Williams 6. We'll be back with the call of the fourth quarter. You're watching Commonwealth Coast Conference action on the Salve Athletics Network.
Welcome back to Gaudet Field. Start of the fourth quarter here between Sal Regina and Roger Williams. Andrew Pizzelli bringing you the call here tonight. Thank you for finding us on the Salve Athletics Network. This is the Call Hog Cup between the Seahawks and the Hawks. Salve trying to retain the cup for another year. They won it in a thriller last year. Seahawks in control right now, leading by seven, but a long way to go. And they've done it with the defense. Ryan Chambers on the night, 17 saves. Here's Bochamp spinning in the corner left side, zips it across, gathered for the shot, save made by Kimmel. Bochamp on the diagonal feed to Cooney. Hawks trying to clear. Phillips will bring it to the attacking end. 13.56, clock rolling here in the fourth quarter. Hawks can't afford too many empty trips if they want to make a comeback here in this one. Near side, Phillips. Plays it in deep. Ravis spins it back to Phillips. Phillips stripped of the ball. Johnson knocked it free. Loose on the ground, and he has it. Gavin Johnson. And he clears it to the attacking end. Fantastic individual defense there from Johnson. Seahawks with possession. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Leading by seven. Padrick Berry with 50 seconds on the shot clock. And the Seahawks happy to be patient. He'll walk it in deep. Berry. Deep behind the cage, isolated with Ryan Lawrence. Barry's going to back it out. 20 seconds on the shot clock here. Sprints right wing side, feeds it out high. Cooney across to Carlo. 12 seconds to shoot. Carlo left side. Leary, he scores! Pat Leary again. 12-11 to go in the fourth. He gives the Seahawks their largest lead. You see here Leary calling for it. And that is tough to stop. Fourteen to six. Scramble for the draw here. Naglieri will scoop it and control it for the Seahawks. And Cradle is way away from three Hawks. This one deflected to the attacking end. Tracy will grab it for Salve. Plays it in the middle. Cooney rips it on the goal. Bar down. He scores. We have to give you another look at that. This started Naglieri. Had Cradle, you won't catch it there on the replay, had Cradle away from three Hawks players. Fed up ahead, Tracy. Drop for Cooney. And he snipes it past Kimmel. 15-6 to six with 11.45 to go in the fourth. Saunders will track down the ground ball here and feed it ahead to Van Winkle. Seahawks, Van Winkle spins his way to the attacking end. And instead of going to goal, we'll back it out and slow things down. Seahawks in the driver's seat now. Up by nine with 11.13 to go. Mason Barbone.
Leary. Out high to Cam Stein. Leary plays it in deep. Barbone from the wing in the corner left side. Around the screen from Carlo. Barbone out to the right wing side. Cooney out to Stein. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Stein 25 yards away from the goal. Muscles his way left side. Spins back to his right. Stein has to fire. He does. That one's blocked in front. Loose in the slot. Cooney trying to dig it out. Popped high in the air. Foot race for it now to the near side. We get a whistle. And shot clock violation against the Seahawks as that shot never made it in on the goal. Back the other way come the Hawks. The big drive from the defenseman. A long pole and Brian coming. Hawks keep it with 9.57 to go. Trailing by nine. Phillips throws it on the cage. Save made by Chambers. Rebound out to the near side. Big scramble for it, and the Seahawks come away with it. McCusker races it up the field. Zips it across for Cooney, who jumps to snag it. Another empty trip for Roger Williams. This has just been a slow and steady approach here from the Seahawks. They've been methodically... Executing offensively, and it's been about the defense and Ryan Chambers. Big time night for him. 18 saves. He hasn't had to be as busy here in the second half. Made 15 saves in the first. There's Bochamp. Surveys from behind the cage. Out high now to Laundry. He rips it on the goal. That goes wide. 18 seconds on the shot clock with 8.28 to go in the game. Barry from the corner left side. Looking around trying to thread the needle for the shot. That one fought off by Kimmel. That was McAllister looking for another. Kimmel behind the back, dangerously feeds it out. Almost turned over. And then the ball goes out of play on the far side, so the Seahawks will get it back. Patrick Berry will just trot across and flip it to Brendan Tracy. Seahawks comfortable. 7.40 to go in the fourth, leading by nine. Tracy, deep behind the cage, left side. Out to Pat Leary, to the point. Bobbled for a minute by Barbone. Back to Leary. Side of the cage now, Tracy. Seahawks happy to work the ball around here and kill some time. 30 seconds on the shot clock. Cooney strung down the right-hand side. And behind the cage, now spins back to the outside. Looking for the interior pass, instead Barbone. Spins to his left, out of the double team. Drops it back off, underhanded shot from Cooney! He scores! 6.55 to go. Gives the Seahawks a double-digit lead. And give you a look at the replay here. Another one for Liam Cooney. 16 to 6. They're going to give possession here to the Hawks. And Travaya moves it right side.
That one touched into the middle for a shot. They score. Looks to be Kevin Murphy, the junior from Ramsey, New Jersey. So the Hawks get a quick one. Makes it nine goals again, but 6.27 to go. Roger Williams is going to have to hope to score in bunches here. Very important face-off here. Ball scored backwards by Haverly. Taken by Tracy for a moment. He has it poked away. Saunders trying to get to it for Salvi. Players go spilling out on the far side, and the Hawks come up with it. So the window slightly open here for Roger Williams. Can't afford any empty trips, though. Ball dropped on the far side. Wedged to midfield. Scoop back on side. Gavin Johnson had it for a moment and then lost it. Roger Williams gets it back. Scoops it onto the wing left side. This whole sequence, though, taking up a lot of time here for the Hawks. Across the field, Stiegstra. Blitzed out high, trying to feed it into the middle, turning with a shot. That goes high. And the Seahawks will get it back. Kevin Murphy that time, who just scored, fed it high and out of play, and I think they're going to overturn the call here. So Hawks will have it with 5.33 to go in a nine-goal game. Gazzard, left side, trying to get it on the cut. Ball to flex. Off the cross of A.J. Durin. Again, looking for the interior pass. Hawks will move it out onto the wing once again. 30 seconds on the shot clock. 5.03 to go in the game. Mullane in deep. On the roll here, turning out in front. That shot goes wide. That was Stiegstra. 15 seconds on the shot clock here for Roger Williams. Mullane. Forced out high, away from McCusker. Drops it into the corner, nine seconds, turning. Greer with the behind-the-back shot, score! Makes it an eight-goal game. We'll give you a second look at that one. So out on the wing here, fed inside. And Greer with the nifty move to make it an eight-goal game with 4.36 to go. Haverly plays it back. Van Winkle. The officials stop play here for a moment, though, but it will be Salve Ball with 4.27 to go. The Seahawks, I'm sure, will be patient here. Leading by eight. Teams did not meet in 2020. Hawks won nine to eight in the most recent matchup in 2019. That was a playoff game up in Bristol. Seahawks, though, won last year, 19-17. to Space here for the D-man. Carrying all the way, he scores! Brian coming. No one picked him up, so he just kept on going. Three forty-six to go, and it's a seven-goal game. Seahawks won 19-17 here last year. Still on control of this one, but have to be careful here. Not give away too many draws. Ball loose and taken by Roger Williams. Hawks 
The Hawks are not going away. 3.30 to go. Seven-goal game. Ryan Jones moves it near side to Brian Gazzard. Gazzard looking to force his way inside. Point pass, move to the left side, teeing up the drive. That shot is blocked. Tallini stepping in the way of the shot from Kevin Murphy. Hawks keep the ball. Three minutes to go in a seven-goal game. Gazzard right side. Trying to turn the corner. He cannot. Forced in deep. Lobs it all the way out high to the point. Stiegstra. No interior pass available. He moves it left side. Mullane trying to muscle his way in front. That shot is blocked. Picked off by the Seahawks with two and a half to go. Skipped out to midfield and turned over. Clean steal for the Hawks. Back the other way, Zanini. Right side to Mullane. Given up to Stiegstra. And a delayed penalty coming here against Salve. But time just ticking away. Down to 2.10 to go. Greer. Trying to drop it out in front. That ball loose. Deflected and taken by Mazzi. And now we can address the penalty. 2.01 to go. Penalty here against Salve. So a body check, one minute to Gavin Johnson. Man up here for the Hawks with 2.01 to go in a seven-goal game. Seahawks have to just come up with one more stop to put this one to bed. Hawks have the best man up, though, in the conference. Waiting out high. The shot save made by Chambers. That was Kester from straight away. Rebound scooped up by Ravis, though, on the wing. Greer fakes the pass. Now moves it out high. That's deflected for a moment. Loose on the wing left side. Mazzy will come up with it for the Seahawks, and he slings it ahead to Van Winkle. Seahawks did this tonight with their defense. And just smart offense. Van Winkle as the Hawks desperately try and go for the steal. Is upended. Physical play there. Four Hawks converge on Van Winkle. And that's what it took to get the ball from him. Minute to go. And we're back to even strength. This one played in front. Do they score? The official coming in. And he declares goal. Greer, I think, again. Makes it a six-goal game. With 58 seconds to play. Well, this has been a strong finish here for Roger Williams. Wolf and Haverly. Haverly wins it cleanly. He just races backwards to try and kill some time. Drops it back off for Johnson. Loose on the ground and scooped up by the Hawks. 40 seconds to go. Gazzard bobbles it. 35 seconds to go. Mullane now spins to his left with the shot. That one will go wide. Seahawks will get it back. And that should do it. 28 seconds to go now. Seahawks with possession. So, a little more tense here at the end than it felt a few minutes ago, but the Seahawks with their defense and big nights from Cooney, McAllister, and who else, Pat Leary, will get a big Commonwealth Coast Conference win. McAllister will take it into the corner, and he will run out. The final seconds, the Seahawks defeat Roger Williams 16-10 and keep the Cawhog Cup firmly in Newport.
Massive night for Chambers in net. 19 saves for the senior netminder. Seahawks made their move in the second and third quarters. Like I said, big time offensive nights from Cooney, Leary, and McAllister. And the Seahawks will enjoy this one, defeating their state rivals. 16 to 10, the final. Roger Williams falls to three and seven overall. Two, one and one in the CCC. Next up, they'll be home versus Curry this Saturday, April 2nd at 11 a.m. The Seahawks, even their record, 4-4 four and four on the year. More importantly, 2-0 and oh in conference play. Next up, they'll be home here versus Nichols on April 5th at 4.30 p.m. I want to thank our entire staff and production crew, Presley Boyce and Owen Callahan, helping to provide live statistics. Your camera person tonight has been Seth Benson. I want to thank you all for joining and listening along with us here on this one once again. Your final, Sal Regina defeats Roger Williams 16-10 to to retain the Cahawk Cup. I'm Andrew Pazelli. Have a good night, everyone.